night when day is done. Is it over or just begun? What thoughts do you find? What thoughts do you find alone in your brand new world? Songs you've never sung Silent stars above the ocean What thoughts do you find Along in your brand new world Alone at night in your brand new world. Alone at night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, would you please give a nice, warm welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Dan Martin? stay out to three, four in the morning listening to Dan's stories, whether it was about life or music. Um, one of the things that I loved about him was I think we shared a common music, the jazz, and uh, Thelonious Monk. I went out and bought my first Thelonious Monk CD after spending an evening with Dan, and it, to this day is still one of my favorites. Dan and Dorothy were uh, trying to have a baby and they were complaining that they had just been to the fertility doctor and the doctor said that um, they were having sex too often and that they needed to really cut back and my husband's there like, oh really, you know, well like uh, how often? And they go, well we're doing it four times a day. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's like going, you know, his jaw drops and I'm like speechless. <laughs> like four times a day. Testimonial? My daughter's four year old birth. The how old are we? Let's not even go. <laughs> okay. When she's when she's graduates from high school, well, we're gonna be I'll see it. I'm, this is how my life goes. Say something, Dad, then you say something, Dan, and then like an hour later I'm like passed out. I'm doing all this work and you're watching SpongeBob? Hey, that's not good. Hey, Simone. Why don't you go and give Dad a big kiss? I guess I'd always start off by saying just one of the greatest writers that I've ever met. Um, a guy, a guy who, who, who understood the real art of words and how to put them together in ways that I had never seen before. The scripts are so good 
so be beautifully written and the music was so beautiful that almost anything you filmed would be fine. Mm -hmm. The advertising agency, I don't, I don't know if they understood that, but I did as a director. And I thought that Hal Reine had written the scripts because it was his advertising agency. And, and I found out later that it was Dan Mountain. Maybe it's because meteors fell from the sky that night. Or because a day is only 24 hours long. Or could it be because air turned out lighter than water? All we know is, whatever had to happen, happened just right. In a town called Vergès. And a source called Perrier. It's perfect. It's Perrier. My toast is not really a toast. I want to read a telegram from Hal Reine. <laughs> I could read it right. <laughs> it starts off with luck. <laughs> Dan? Dan? I came upstairs and he was on the ground and I dropped my Harry Potter video and I said, Mom, come up here quickly, Dad's on the floor. I could see Dan's foot and I just started to scream. And so please, every day, send out love and prayers for Dan and Dorothy, who meets those prayers as well, and Simone. I ran down here to dial 911 and um, I remember I was hysterical, and the first thing the woman said to me was, Ma'am, is anyone with you? And I said, Yes, our, my daughter's with us, with me. And she said, You have got to, con you've got to get it together. You've you got to get it together for her sake. And so uh, she started asking me questions. Is he still breathing? And I said, I think so. Where there is life. call yesterday that uh, Dan had a stroke. It's, it's hardly, a, it's almost like not even a sentence I can say. Dan had a stroke. Because you think of Dan, you think of something like, a, yeah. like a, it's kind of like a waterfall. <laughs> it's like somebody saying the waterfall stopped. And I, I have no idea at this point how he is, you know. Uh, 
he's so far away. You know, he's 3,000 miles away. Mentally, you go, if he's not going to be able to come out of this, is it better for him to be in that state? So mentally, you're going, should he, should he not? But in your heart, you can't imagine life without the person. You don't even you don't even know what's going through your mind. You have so many things going through your mind, and then, then nothing at the same time. And uh, actually, everything's just sort of on automatic because I knew that they were taking Dan to UCLA. So all I was concerned about was getting to UCLA as quickly as possible. And we went through this argument more than once, actually trying to make sure she understood exactly what I thought was going on. And this is based on you know, nearly 30 years of experience in neurosurgery. And she insisted that we go to the operating room. I was assuming they were going to do the surgery right away. If this was my relative, just to make it really clear, I would recommend not intervening. We didn't know if Dorothy was really absorbing what Dr. Frazzi said. She was looking down at the floor, she was crying. And I tried rephrasing things, not that he couldn't express himself perfectly well, but just some way to get through to her. And then when, when she did express herself in a way we could understand, she was absolute, ironclad, do everything you can to save his life. She would not entertain the slightest notion, the slightest deviation from that path. I mean, an amazing sight to behold. Somebody who seemed so frail and devastated, but she was made of iron. I guess they had gotten a lot of different doctors to come in to look at Dan, and they walked out, and none of them made eye contact with me. I was looking, f when they walked out, I was just waiting to see something, maybe just a, a look of anything, a, a glimmer in their eye or anything, and it was as if they were purposely not making eye contact with me. And I do remember at that point I looked at my friend and I said, um, our life is, the life that we knew is over. The life that we once had is over. So much yearning, gotta get back to you, the fortune was mine. Gotta get back to you, yeah. Your fortune is mine. Gotta get back to you, yeah. Your fortune is mine. Gotta get back to you, yeah. Your fortune is mine. Gotta get back to you.
you get yeah, fortune. The fortune was my yearning. The fortune was my yearning. Yeah, yeah. Me to start again from the top. <laughs> I said no. I said she was here with Dan and Simone in our hearts, and she would like to hear her nieces sing again. By many mountains, every sea, till you find your way home. By many mountains, cross every sea, till you find your way home to me. You know, all of a sudden you hear this vibrant, colorful friend of yours is in a coma, is, had a stroke, is in a coma, and is probably going to die. It's kind of like equivalent to having an accident on the road. You're just driving somewhere and all of a sudden, boom. Lights almost out. I had people plead with me. I had friends say, come up to me, grab me by the shoulders and say, Dorothy, you have got to take Dan off life support because everyone was afraid that he would wake up and that um, there'd be nothing there. And um, I think what got me through those three weeks is every day I would just thank God that I had this incredible man in my life for as long as I did. And he didn't come back to die, you know. Maybe don't go. Turn the light on over there. Love is often described as simple, patient, kind, understanding, and yes, love is indeed all of these things and so much more. And yet, one thing love is not is always easy. I wanted Dan back, and I wanted him to live. And I prayed so hard, and I would like, please let my husband wake up, please. Please let him wake up. And then when, he's, when he wasn't waking up after the first week or after the second week, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe, you know, maybe this is it. I, I don't know.
That guy, okay, I, I don't know how old he is now. He must be like 36 or so. And he'll get in trouble maybe in the sixth inning or so. dad to get better and so he was alive. The doctors said he wouldn't make it, but he did. Oh, they just looked at his pulse and his pulse was going kind of slow. Well, your pulse was supposed to go a little bit like medium, but he was it was going slower than medium. Well, it was a miracle that he, what, he came alive. So now I'm back to haunt you, okay? <laughs> and, and you could have just like, all of this, none of this had to happen, okay? None of this had to happen. We wanted the appetizers. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> that's the first thing. Well, one of them just came in conversation we were having where Dan said to me, uh, you know, you never get back to where you've been, you always get back to where you're going. And I said, oh, that's great. So you get back, never get back to where you've been, get back to where you're going. Right on down the line yeah. It's a brand new day Oh, it's a new point of view It's a brand new world Singing, who are you? Got my new hat Got my new shoes Give me your hand, babe. I'm coming through. The thing about love is that it's all we knew. You get home, never get home to the house and home. You left your laggy song. It's already been sung. I'll get ready to sing. We're gonna sing something real good. I'll get ready to sing. We're gonna sing something real good. I get ready to sing, we're gonna sing something real good. I've got 35 minutes to try and get, get smart before the, the, uh, this week's uh, spe speech therapy session. Uh -huh. There's no way I'm going to do it, frankly. <laughs> What else can I, so what else can I accomplish in this, in, in this, in, in Stop possibly. Talking. Stop talking when you're um, hesitating that much. Impossibly. Impossibly short, short amount of time. Uh-huh. Uh, I am uh, tempted to just do nothing. But I already did that last week. <laughs> and, 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 the you right know, I could, I'm, I'm now getting to the point where for things like the, uh, the album, mm -hmm. I, I, I did that a long time ago, which I'm very proud of. Because that kind of writing is not only about uh, the beauty of the words, mm -hmm. it's the rhythm of the words. And that was the first thing that I came, that I got back. And when he came back, uh, um, I flew out there, and uh, you know I, I noticed right away, even though he could barely talk, the things he said were like incredible, you know, because of where he had been. And so we started writing things down, things that he said. And then when he got better, I encouraged him to write poetry about it, and. Uh, it took him a long time to have the confidence, you know? So finally he did, and then I went out there, out to, to um, Venice, California, and these are the, she, this is his handwriting, this is beautiful handwriting, really? right? Yeah, this is sure. the way he handed me the songs. We were sitting across the table, just like this, and he would just hand them to me, and we turned it into, like we did like 12 songs in three days. La, 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 la. La 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 I have uh, no message, not 
thing to teach you. You know destination. Just let it be. I have no message. La, 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 la. There's nothing to teach you. No destination. Just let it be. Nothing to teach you. Why did I fight so hard to come back? No. I could I should have just let go? No. I haven't ever wanted to let go. Even uh -huh. for an instant. Not yet. At some point in my life, maybe I will go that, get that way. Uh, if I had another t t a catastrophe, I think it would be really, really hard for me to get back to it again. And you know what else? I just uh, had um, uh, lost my tra train of thought, which I never used to do. That's because you just saw a pretty girl. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, you, you've lost your train of thought when you looked at pretty girls before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, so I, I don't want to hear my, about it, because I've been with you when it happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was always Dorothy, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Always. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, every single time, baby doll. Made you think of Dorothy. Yeah. Thank you for being our dear and loyal, loyal friends, especially the past two years. <coughs> we love you all, and we pray that you're all blessed today and filled with God's love and peace throughout the year. And for the gifts that we are about to receive at this table and for the good company we are about to enjoy, may the Lord make us truly grateful. Amen. 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 What do you think you did in your in your brain to to be able to learn to talk again? And um, went for um, alternate ways out uh, of the brain and into the world. That's why all of a sudden I'll be uh, baffled by the uh, the uh, the. Sm simplest thing still because like it'll be something that I haven't had to do again yet and this is my first time and I've got and until I got another way to go out of my brain and into the world um, wow. then it's uh, lost inside me the Blue Blues Brothers were very popular in the 80s. Do you know who I'm referring to when I say the Blues Brothers? The b band, yeah. Yeah, who were they? Who were the two guys? Well, the original guys were uh, Bluch, Bluchi and um, the other guy... Um, Dan? Uh, Dan, um, I can't remember his last name. Ack. Uh, uh, la, la, Ack. 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 Right. Uh, cry, uh, um, Dan. Dan, no, I got that. Ackroyd. Ackroyd. Remember? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then Belushi got replaced by... by the, I don't even remember. John Goodman. Yeah, who was never the same. Well, no, how could it be? Yeah. Only the other 
outside where we now reside there still is need on the other side where we now reside there still is dignity on the other side where we now reside there still is strength need dignity strength tragedy and now Nothing more to say You and I On the other side Voices call from both sides Of the veil Some of them whisper Some of them wail And the secrets that they sing I cannot tell but I will On the other side where we now reside There still is need On the other side where we now reside there still is I'm in no position to tell you anything about anything uh, health-wise. Well, although I'm finally uh, actually really healthy. Except for the obvious, this is really the best time. The ironic, right? Yeah, yeah. I'd say as your really good friend, it would be to get to s just never smoke again. Because it sounds so ridic ridiculous. But you know what? Like so many people, um, it, uh, die of it. I mean, before you had the stroke, you never would have suggested that I quit smoking. Oh no, never. And I don't know, and I don't know that I uh, suggest it now. Well, yes, you do. But, you just did. Um, Which, and I think that's fine. I, I think it's a good idea. Well, as he says, he's getting more normal every day, and that's both good and bad. Because <laughs> he's, uh, you know. Um, He's not quite as metaphysical as when he first came back. He's more into the mundane. He's more into the the uh, sports, the football pool that he does every su Sunday. That's becoming more and more impo important. Which, by the way, he's doing very well at. It's like you've you've become one of us again. Yeah. And when you first came here, you were, and Dorothy has said this. You were kind of like a newborn. Yeah. And you were still so in touch with the mystery. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I don't want to lo lose that. But but it, there's a part of it that's kind of inevitable, right? Yes. It's like you grow a skin. Yeah, exactly. But I think that that you can do things to uh, um, in your reconnection with the world to um, uh, retain some of the wisdom that only comes from their death because it takes more time and effort I'm a lot more uh, in tune with it once I get there Wow, that's one nice difference I'm still interested in things that seem as same as it always was yeah but there are differences in them that like you can only observe when you don't li uh, li uh, listen to anything for a while, and when I and when you come back, it's different. It's always different. And by the way, that's the only reason that anything is worth anything. Are they wise? Are they handsome? Are they waiting there for me? Are they? It's not everything. It's you, you, 
that's different. It's me that's different. But it makes everything different. Yeah. Well, nothing exists independent of us, right? Or it does, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't know. would be nice down there and back a couple of times you can stay for a little while and everything will be all right right next to me for a little while and everything will be all right An afternoon, it'll be all right An hour or two, it'll be all right I want to tell you You can stay for a little while And everything will be all right Next to me for a little while, and everything will be all right. An hour or two, it'll be all right. Nothing to do, but it'll be all right. I want to tell you I may not be the man I was But isn't that always true? You might think that I'm lost Did you buy I I that, that, that for sure? <laughs> Did you really? Get what? Of course you got that! Did you see that? I mean you, you got all of that on film uh -huh. And it was good? Yeah Are you sure? Yeah Okay, <laughs> I'm through <laughs> That was hard? Yes, huh? that's hard for him. That's hard. I can do it one more time. I just need you to sign something, Dan. Okay? Okay. Right there. And help me to make this year holier, healthier, and happier for myself and those around me. Oh, my dear God, I'm heartily sorry for all of my sins because they have displeased thee, who are all good and deserving of all of my love. Only with your help and only with your guidance will I sin no more. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever and ever. It would be nice to have something um, about how Dorothy has dealt with all of this. Church was a great time to do that because it's something that's very... Uh, um, precious to her and um, a lot less precious to me, as in not, uh, <laughs> yeah. You've probably done, you know, made dozens of ads about how convenient something is. And kind of what you're saying to me is, the less convenient something is, the more precious it is. Well, in some sense, yeah. I. I um, Yeah, in fact, in, 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 a, in a very basic sense, yeah. I'd never thought of it that way, but um, convenience is kind of part of uh, life at the surface, right at the surface. These days how the world has changed, nothing sounds the same. Familiar things, unfamiliar rings, like a lot of things, nothing sounds the same. These days. These 
days how the world has changed nothing is the same familiar things on familiar rings like a lot of things nothing sounds the same these days all the things i say go a different way sound so clear till they disappear nothing is the same how the world has changed these days Remember what your first thoughts were that actually were continuous or? Something I said do you did, do you remember uh, it? led to something else I would say next. But do you remember what you said? Do you remember? Um, I knows. Pardon? I knows. I knows? Which is... I couldn't even, um, a guy who had spent my whole life being a, a writer. Yeah. And it, my first sentence was, I knows. I knows? And, L uh, like I-K-N-O-W-S? Yeah. I knows? Yeah. <laughs> so, instead I know of, something. Instead of <laughs> no, uh -huh. knows. I so, know. So it was. Yeah, I would have said zero. Zero, so tell Zero me chance that he was going to recover and be a functional person. Here's your uh, zero chance of survival. Mm -hmm. this. Yeah. yeah. Hey, good morning. Hi, Hi. Dr. Frey. Does he remember us? Absolutely. <laughs> How yeah. could you forget us? Not yeah. possible. Not wow. possible. Want to stand up, baby? Yep. Yeah. I do want to stand up. I want to be, I want to just run, but I am not going to. It's nice to see, to see you. you. And, uh, Very good to see you. you. Well, I'll You're see you. wonderful. The same to you, babe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's really been a really remarkable thing. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been quite remarkable. Yeah, and, Unbelievable um, remarkable. And um, uh, you are instrumental. Of course, you're the difference. Well, I don't know that I'm. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> I, I played will. a role. No, yeah, yeah. Saved but I life. think that uh, God played a much bigger role. Oh, than I, all of this. I will agree with that. Okay. One I prayed yeah. for a miracle, and yeah. I think I got it. I huh? think that's exactly what you got. Yeah. I knew I could never live with myself, knowing that I didn't, you know, give Dan every possible chance. And like I said, I remember telling you, hey, I'll take care of him. Yeah. You no. know, I'll take care of him, and. Um, so I, why haven't you? <laughs> yeah, she's been out in the town so every well. night. He said if it weren't. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so yep, much. My pleasure. No. My pleasure. <laughs> no, thank you. And Actually, um, if I never uh, need well, my help again, <laughs> yeah, happy. that's fine. That part. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 You're an amazing doctor. <laughs> yeah. And uh, like I said, I, I pray for you and your family all the and time. And you're much better yeah. looking than I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't even okay. remember yeah. what you yeah. looked like. No, that's not unusual. Yeah, that's not unusual appalled in a sense by by how much of my brain is now in, 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 unusable uh -huh. and makes it but it makes a miracle even more and I think that like I do believe in miracles now because I am one so uh, by the end of the year I would like to be without a cane mm -hmm. Able to uh, up and walk up and down the stairs without railings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and and then after that, maybe we'll start to think about driving again. How is that up here? Is it okay? You know, even today, you and I are sitting here uh, on the beach for, uh, it might have been a little hard to get here, but we're sitting here for probably two hours and um, just kind of shooting the breeze, looking at this beautiful water and uh, 
it's we never would have done this before. No. For a million reasons, none of which we're we're, we're too busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and uh... <laughs> everything I've done for Dan over the past two years, it was not just for Dan, but it was for us because as he got better, I got better. Simone got better. We got better as a family. Okay. Aren't you proud of your daddy? Yep. Without her, I don't think I could have done it. I don't think I wanted to do it. I don't think I would have gotten. I would have got, uh, awakened. To tell you the truth. So. And even before he was as far as long as he is, we would always say to one another at the end of the day, and he would ask me, he'd say, if this is the best it gets, are you all right with that? And I said, I am more than all right with that. Yeah, right. That's because the first, well, you know, the first thing that he said when he woke up was I was hungry. There's, yeah, there's I'm hungry. And the second stuff. thing he did was grab for some of his breasts. <laughs> Probably don't. <There's> <laughs> no, 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 he actually grabbed yeah, Deborah January. Yeah. 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 yeah, he grabbed someone oh, else's breasts. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you yeah. blame him, right? Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, came yeah. out of a coma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. <laughs> response yeah <laughs> so now that you were out of the coma now you had to love and uh, like a person Dan and Dorothy and they were having a conversation I was just listening and Dan was speaking very slowly but and he says you know what I don't want to live if I can't ever make love to you again and that was that. Bingo. Uh, 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 <laughs> up to twice a week now. <laughs> and, and, and it takes all of two minutes, okay? <laughs> because but it's a all pretenses of right? like, it's a long two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Christ. What a foreplay for play, play <laughs> is um, uh, of uh, the oh, in instant before I have what used to be in Iraq <laughs> and about uh, 15 or 16 seconds later what uh, 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 goes for an erection these days is all done <laughs> and frankly I can't even know the difference I can't even tell the difference but I still do it <laughs> and, uh, and and really when you think of it that way it's not much of you to ask to ask of you actually it's about like two as it used to be and now we do it twice when we do it so it's like a minute and a half um, each wait. time. So three, minutes, three, three minutes a week. That's not bad. That's not bad. I never went for So guess what, a new chance, new machine, and I'm ready for better time, new romance today, our way back on, our way back, our way back, oh, oh. another chance, another season, damn thank we'd see, another day, I we see another day. Looking at her, looking at her, baby, 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 baby. Looking at her, looking at her, oh yeah, yeah. This baby doll. Baby, baby, baby. Baby, 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 baby. And all the way back home. Oh, baby doll. Treat them both the same. Are you ready for the next day? I don't know how much you 